clean plate club. It was so good. I made um, the Trader Joe's pumpkin pancakes and I started vlogging this morning and I figured I could do a what I eat in a day. I love watching these for the purpose of learning new recipes and like seeing just like what people make during a day. I don't really do it for body image, dieting, nothing like that. So that's kind of how I want you guys to view this video. I want you to get some like fall inspiration for recipes and things like that. Not dietitian, not a nutritionist. Like I don't know really what I'm talking about when it comes to food. I'm just here to share with you guys some recipes that I really love and I wanna try. Just made those Trader Joe's pumpkin pancakes and then I had two slices of bacon. I've been loving having bacon in the morning. It's been really yummy and good. I have around like two pieces of bacon. Sometimes I'll do an egg on like an English muffin, but today I wanted something kind of sweet. I had a dentist appointment this morning at eight o'clock. So I woke up kind of early, like around 6.30 to like let the dogs out and be able to get to the dentist appointment on time. But last night, you guys, was a terrible night. I felt like I had a newborn baby. Rue would not stop crying in the crate and I had no idea why. I even let her out of the crate and I was like, you know what, I'm not dealing with this. She can sleep in the bed and she would still cry. And so I was like, maybe she's thirsty. Maybe she needs to go to the bathroom. So I kept letting her out. And like, there was one point in the night where I came downstairs and I just slept on the couch for like two hours of the night because I couldn't figure out what on earth? I just literally couldn't figure out what the deal was with her. But anyway, she finally like went to bed around like five o'clock in the morning. And then um, it was about time to get up at that point because Dylan's alarm went up off at 545. So that is the kind of morning we had. I'm a little bit tired, but it is a Monday. We have a lot to do today. And I just thought I would show you guys what I get up to when it comes to eating today. Kind of switch up the vlog, get on my computer, do some work. I have a call at one and it's 11 right now so kind of a later start to the day that's kind of why i had a bigger breakfast i was pretty hungry um rue has a vet appointment all that good stuff so i'll probably eat a little bit later of a lunch i want to make these fall caramel apple donuts i don't have a donut pan but i think i could do muffins and it would work just as fine so i need to get a few ingredients i got a box from thrive market um, i ordered some stuff from them which had some of the ingredients for the donuts so i'm going to show you guys that in a little bit maybe do a little bit of baking and all that fun stuff so welcome back to the channel i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're not already don't forget to subscribe and um yeah i'll see you guys next time i pick up anything to eat but i'm gonna enjoy my coffee i got a hot caramel macchiato i'm gonna put it in the microwave reheat it and enjoy that this isn't food related but i got a dyson air app again which i used to have one then i sold it which i don't know why i did and i blew out my hair i actually really like it rue <laughs> new little favorite thing is to actually write out my grocery list i feel like i used to do it on my phone or i think i could just like remember it all and i would always end up forgetting stuff so i got this little notepad from um, home goods and i just put everything that i need so after i go drop off rue at the vet today i'm gonna run to publix and get the rest of the stuff that i need for dinner and then this is the stuff that i need to make the this is the recipe right here i'm really excited and i hope that it goes well i'm not a huge baker i feel like every time i bake it's always a flop so if you're a visual person i feel like you probably already do this but if you don't try it and it kind of makes grocery shopping more fun i feel like productive when i'm in the store and i can like check off stuff opposed to just guessing what i need at the store i also feel like i save money i got my thrive box in this morning so i'm gonna unbox it for you guys and i wanted to thank thrive market for sponsoring today's video I am such a huge fan of Thrive. They have some of the best stuff on their website. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I feel like it's not a surprise to anybody at this point, but obviously groceries and everything is getting to be so expensive. And so that's why I love Thrive Market. When I shop on this box open, Thrive Market can help cut your grocery bill by 30%, which is crazy. I feel like organic, good ingredient foods are so pricey. And so I will take the savings wherever I can get it. If you guys have never heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership based grocery store, which I think is really, really cool. Basically their mission is just to make healthy living affordable and easy to access. So this comes straight to the door, which I love. I go on their app or I go on their website on my computer and I'll order some stuff. I always order like 
those expensive things that I see at Whole Foods that I'm like, I would just never pay that much money. When I go and check Thrive, they always have it for a more affordable price, which is always 10 out of 10. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got is actually for the donut recipe that I want to make. So I got the pure vanilla extract on Thrive Market, super affordable. Um, I got, oh, I'm excited about this. I need a new, I got a new thing of black pepper. I got for the recipe. Also, I love, cause sometimes I can't find stuff like this in my grocery stores and Thrive Market has, I swear, everything. They have everything from um, obviously organic groceries. They have wine. They have um, household cleaning supplies. They have pet stuff. They have beauty. They even have sustainably sourced like seafood and meats and stuff. So they really have it all, you guys. But this is an apple butter spread, which I needed for the recipe. So I'm very excited about that. Okay, what else? I've always wanted to try bone broth. I've never tried it, but I thought I could make a yummy like chicken noodle soup with this. And then I also got some of the pumpkin biscuits for dogs. I got some dog treats, which the dogs would be so excited about. This is grain and gluten-free pumpkin biscuits. Yum. Well, not yum for me, but <laughs> yum for the dogs. And then I got my favorite salt, which this stuff is always so expensive at Whole Foods and they have it for like significantly cheaper, I think almost $4 cheaper on Fry Market. So such, such good stuff, you guys. When you're shopping on their app or website, you can filter by lifestyle or diets. You can do keto, gluten-free, paleo. Um, you can filter by like snacks, cleaning supplies, like whatever, so you don't have to sift through everything. So that's really, really nice. Also, all orders over $49 ship for free and their carbon neutral shipping. All comes from their zero waste warehouse. So. If you guys are not a member of Thrive, check them out. I highly, highly recommend. I know there's so many like memberships and programs and subscriptions and all of that out there, but I feel like Thrive really does a great job at tying everything into one. They have really everything you can need for the house. Like you can order paper towels, you can order um, counter spray, the dog stuff, food items, like whatever it may be, wine. Everyone loves wine. <laughs> I'll put the prices here on the screen, but they do a one month membership and then they also have a 12 month membership, which is the one that I do. I think it's billed yearly and you save a little bit more. I will put my link here on the screen for you guys to sign up if you just go to thrivemarket.com slash Rachel A. I'll put it in the description as well so you guys can just click on it. You guys can get a free $60 gift when you join Thrive Market today. So check them out, $60 gift. I looked at them and they're really some good stuff. So check them out. Thank you Thrive Market for sponsoring the video. You guys will see me using some of the products in our donuts prayers that it goes good because i'm not a great baker do you guys want a treat do you want a treat you do come here winnie come here sit down winnie come here love girl winnie it would be so good okay ready sit good girl it's a yummy <laughs> Yummy, you love it. You love it. Maybe if you're a good girl, you can get one for dinner too. Maybe. You guys, these smell so good. I want to eat them. All natural, gluten free, grain free, wheat free. The ingredients are like five things garbanzo bean, flour, pumpkin, peanut butter, molasses, and cinnamon. So, that's good for you. That's good for you. Do you love it? Do you love it? I know. I know. I'm gonna have lunch and I think I'm gonna have leftover chili, which I actually, sorry, you guys can probably hear my wash going crazy. I'm in full clean mode right now. It was October 1st yesterday. So I made chili, Dylan and I watched football, hung out on the couch, it was like really fun. And I actually filmed the process of me making it because I knew I was gonna be filming what I eat in a day and there was a high chance that I ate leftovers. I It's so weird because I never love leftovers, but if it's like leftover soup, I will eat the whole pot of chili or potato soup, like whatever the soup is. So this is the leftovers from the soup. I'm gonna heat it up and put some like fresh um, onion and um, Fritos and sour cream and stuff on top. So I'll show you guys, but I'm obsessed with this recipe. I filmed it for you guys. So I'm gonna insert the clips right here for you. First chili of the season. I'm really excited. I was craving chili today, Sunday. The temperatures dropped a little bit, so I thought it was perfect. So I'm gonna do a chili recipe that I always do um, and insert this into Mark because I'm sure I'm gonna have leftovers. So I always do a crock pot. I brown the meat before. I'll kind of show you guys step by step in a little montage, but I always brown the meat before, put everything else in here, and I cook it on, I'll probably do 
low for eight hours. That's only like, actually no, I'll probably do high for four hours. Um, it's around one o'clock right now, so it'll be ready around five or six. And it's always so yummy. This is my mom's chili recipe. celery, onion, I did two cloves of garlic. I have the meat browning. I brown the meat, drain all of the grease, and then I'll add it in there, um, just so the meat is already cooked all the way through. Put in a chili pack, you can do like a homemade blend, or I just bought this store-bought one, it's just easier. And then I do two cans of diced tomatoes. Sometimes I'll add some water too, if I want it to be a little bit more liquidy. And then I do whatever types of beans you want. So I have a can of kidney beans, a can of black beans, and then a can of white kidney beans. So I'm gonna add all this to the crock pot and let it cook for around four hours. We just finished at the vet. Rue is crying in the back seat. Hey, Rue, what happened to all your good behavior that we were working on? It's just gone out the door the past 24 hours. Why have you not been listening? Hmm? I'm gonna get a little midday coffee. Like I said, it is three, what time is it? 3.20, so that appointment literally only took 20 minutes, which was nice. And then I'm gonna go drop her off and come straight back out to the grocery store grab stuff to make our fall little treat. And then for dinner, we're gonna do lettuce wraps, which I love. I'm on my own for dinner. I'm on my own for dinner tonight because Dylan, it's Monday and he, what the hell are you doing? Monday is always his latest night. So I'm always by myself, mostly all Monday. So I'm just gonna do lettuce wraps because I know I really love those. They're not his favorite. So I'm gonna <laughs> make them for myself. And I feel like I've showed you guys before, but I wanna show you more in depth. I make them all the time. It's such like a healthy, good, yummy dinner. And then we'll, we'll see what else we make. But you know, I'm pretty hungry right now. Dylan asked, <laughs> Dylan asked what was wrong with Rue. He was like, make sure you ask the vet like why she was up all night crying. I'm like, Dylan, it's not anything wrong with her. It's just her being a puppy. Can I please get a grande cold brew with two pumps of white mocha and then the pumpkin cold foam? What is it with the Starbucks drink being $7? And this is my second time here today. That's so bad. Fully aware it's my second time at Starbucks today, which I'm not proud of. But I'm just being honest, you guys, and like this is typical for me. <laughs> I wish I could sit here and be like, I don't go to Starbucks every day, but it's something that I enjoy. And so it's just something that I guess you could say I budget for. Starbucks is just something that I enjoy and it's like part of my day that I look forward to. So I just like budget to be able to have Starbucks. And like, I know some people think it's crazy and stupid and a waste of money, but it's just something that I like to spend my money on. So I'm, I could sit here and be like, I need to stop coming to Starbucks, blah, blah, blah. I'm probably still gonna come to Starbucks, especially because the fall drinks are out and then it's gonna get into Christmas drinks, which are even better, I feel like, than the fall drinks, so. You win some, you lose some, you guys. And today, I'd say I'm winning. <laughs> Bro, I didn't get you a puppuccino because you haven't been th that well behaved. And I also learned from you guys that her panting means she's anxious, so that must mean she's anxious right now. Can you give me a little bit of extra? Oh, thank you so much, I appreciate that. No problem. Thanks, you too. It's so nice, you guys. Committed to the freaking extra ice, look at that. You're gonna be fine, love. Come on, dude. Current Starbucks drink at the moment. Ignore my dog in the background. <laughs> Grande cold brew with the pumpkin cold foam instead of the regular, and then I get the two pumps of white mocha, and it is yummy. Just got back from Publix. I put everything out for the dessert, minus a few things that I need to get out of the fridge. But I think I'm gonna make dinner first because I'm so hungry. So we're gonna save the baking for late night baking is what we're gonna do, Rue. Okay, I just set out everything for dinner. So I wanted to go over it because I just eyeball everything, but I'll put the recipe with like rough measurements in the description for you guys. But basically this is like the P.F. Chang's copy Kit Kat, Kit Kat chicken <laughs> lettuce wrap 
recipe. So I always get a thing of ground chicken, um, mushrooms, which you'll slice up really small, an onion. I'll probably only use like maybe three-fourths of this because it's a pretty big one. Green onion, and then you need soy sauce, sesame oil, this hoisin sauce. You can get any brand, and then water chestnuts, which you'll cut up very small as well and then the lettuce cups i always do um what's it called iceberg but i had romaine and i needed to eat it up before i leave town so i'm gonna do romaine and then you do salt pepper and then also i always will add some sesame seeds on top white sesame seeds so i'm gonna get everything prepped everything rough estimate i always start with sesame oil cook the chicken and then i'll put all the veggies in at once mix it together and it's literally done in like 10 minutes it's so easy up a water which I normally am better at keeping up with my water intake during the day but I haven't been today so I'm gonna get one of these waters and I'm gonna grab a lime and do a little lime water with my dinner and I'm gonna try to drink like three or four more of these before bed normally I need way more but I've been bad with water and I know that would help my skin so here we are with the water I just picked a dinner, got the dishes all clean, put away, and then I just sorted, I'll show you guys in a second, all of the ingredients for the little dessert that we're making, which I'm nervous about because I feel like I always flop when it comes to baking. But half-baked harvest recipe, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's supposed to be donuts, but there's also an option on here for like preheating the oven for time and degree for muffins. So I'm just gonna do a muffin. I don't have a donut pan, but I do wanna order one because I feel like that would be yummy. So first I need to preheat the oven to 350. Grease a six cup donut pan or 12 cup muffin pan with melted butter. Okay. I'm just gonna take this like stick of room temperature butter and see, this is my problem. Here I am already altering the recipe so that's why my stuff doesn't turn out i'm getting more into cooking i don't know if it's the change of the season but i lately have loved trying new recipes let me know if you guys like seeing stuff like this or if it's boring or whatnot see i'm a big girl i'm a big 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 girl <laughs> i love you I love you. You probably just got dirt all over me. I did great. This is what we have going on over here. So I took the time and measured out everything beforehand because I feel like it's more organized when it comes to baking. So this is everything for the dough of the muffins. And then I'm going to make the glaze when I have these in the oven. So I sorted everything out. I'm going to put everything together. Like I said, I'll link the recipe below, but I don't want to bore you guys. And then we'll put these in the oven. I think that they go in for like 20 minutes or something like that. Oh, I have to use the stove top. Okay, it says bring the apple cider to a boil over high heat, reduce the heat and simmer 10 to 15 minutes or until it reduces to half a cup. Okay. they look so good i just made the glaze which i just tried with my finger and it is so good and i'm gonna dunk each one of the muffins into the glaze that's what she did with the donuts but i obviously didn't do donuts so we'll see how this goes because i might actually have done this correctly <laughs> and i'm so shocked at myself here they are i'm so proud of them <laughs> i'm gonna let them cool for a little bit because they're really hot and then we're gonna do a taste test. Kitchen is all picked up. I feel like I've done so much cooking in so many dishes today. That's like the one bad thing about cooking a ton. Hey, it's every time I start to turn on the camera, we do. I was trying to wait to do a little donut 
I keep calling it a donut, but a muffin taste test when Dylan got home, but I think he's gonna be really late tonight, so um, we're gonna do it now because I washed the sheets and I've done so much laundry today, I need to go make the bed and stuff because the dryer just finished up and I wanna sit and watch the new Dancing with the Stars episode came out tonight. So I just made another lime water. Here's my masterpiece. I'm going to try this one because it looks literally perfect. <laughs> It's perfectly dipped in the icing, so it's still a little bit hot. Cheers to fall. So it's kind of dark, so I hope you guys can see, but. All right, here we go. Really good. I either cook them too long or I need more liquid because I feel like they're a little dry, but so good. The icing on top is so good, wow. When he's looking at me like, what are you doing? Really, really good. I feel like if I would have made them the donut form, they wouldn't have been dry because the muffin is thicker. So I need to get a donut pan. Still eight out of 10, really good. Would remake them. Yummy little fall dessert, fall activity to bake, it's fun. That is that, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching if you made it to the end. That's kind of just a little day in the life of what I eat, it changes every day. I eat whatever and whenever I feel like eating. Obviously, some days I try to be more like on the healthier side. Obviously, this is not healthy at all. It's just like a fun little treat, but everything in moderation, everything in balance, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little video. Subscribe if you guys are not already, and don't forget, again, to check out Thrive Market. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you guys, but I love you all. I'm going to go sit on my couch and eat the rest of my muffin. <laughs> so... Good night and I will see you in the next vlog.